Neighbor here can be your spouse. Which is your husband or your wife. It can be your children. It can be your friends, your family. He says, love them as you love yourself. So if you are depressed, therefore you're going to love them with depression. So if you really love yourself, then you can give back the love that you have. So let me move forward because of time. Characteristics of self-love. How do you know that you love yourself? What do you need to, to do that you love yourself? First one is self-identity. Who are you? Who you are? What kind of person are you? Are you a person that to you everything is negative? If somebody says something good, you return it to be, to be wrong. So therefore, you cannot know the good things about God. But if you are a person that everything to you is a good thing, even if it's a negative thing, you make it a positive thing, then you can really know who you are. How confident are you? You really, really believe in you, in yourself? Do you really trust yourself? Do you really know yourself? And do you respect yourself? If you cannot respect yourself, I can't respect you. So who are you? Do you value yourself? The way you sell yourself is the way people are going to buy. It. If you sell yourself cheap, people so, are going to buy you cheap. So class. class. So amen. The amen. So if you sell yourself cheap, people go. But don't sell yourself cheap and ask me to put value on you. So it, it's not going to happen. How do you sell yourself? And we looked at Jesus the other time. And people, when you're talking about confidence, you're talking about self-value, you're talking about respect, people think that you are arrogant. So, 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 so that actually diminishes our confidence. But it has nothing to do with arrogance. It's like I know myself. I'm comfortable within myself. I know who I am. Because God had made me who I am. So with that note, Jesus said, I am the way. I, I am the way. I am the way. He says, I am the breath. I, mean, I, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread. I am the door. I am the light. I am the shepherd. And I am the resurrection. This has nothing to do with arrogance. He was confident within himself. Who are you? Who are you? The other time I said we are three persons in one. You sitting there, you are not alone. You are three people in one. Do you believe that? Because of time, I'm just going to demonstrate. Can I have three people volunteer? Just three people. Can, can I come down? Can I have three volunteers? Let me use the pastors. Let me use the pastors. Because I don't want to get I don't, I don't get into trouble. Just three people, please. Thank you. I know the pastors can forgive me quickly. You are the first one. Okay. So this young man. Please, can you stand on my left side? He is the first person. The Bible calls him dust. Dust or dirt. You know you're a fine man. You're not a dirt. But for the demonstration, you are the dirt. Are you with me? Okay. okay. Now, Bishop 
The Bible calls him he's a spirit. In the spirit. He's a spirit. And my man Philip, <laughs> you're going to stand all the way here. I'll be done in a few minutes. He's a soul. And all these three people are one. Watch this. Read the scripture, uh, I believe it's Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. So, so as she was looking for, the Bible said, God made him from the dirt. He breathed the breath of life onto him. And he became a soul. Are you with me? Read, it, read, read the scripture for me. L'éternel Dieu forma l'homme de la poussière de la terre et souffla dans ses narines un souffle de vie et l'homme devint un être vivant. Amen. Amen. So first he made the dirt. This is the spirit. Watch this. Watch this. So, so he breathed into him and he became this one. So if I'm asking you to love yourself, which of the three are you going to love? I guess there are three. So which of the three are you going to love? The dirt, the spirit, and the soul. Now, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. So, when you are sick, I'm a doctor now, so what is this? When are you are sick, and you go to see the doctor, it's the dirt which is not doing you well. The body is the one that is sick. It's not the spirit. And it's not the soul. It's the dirt. If somebody dies, the spirit leaves. The soul is not more, no more there. It is the dirt. You lower it on the ground. So the Bible says, out of the ground, out of the dirt, you shall return. He's talking about this, the dirt, not the spirit. Are you with me? Now, most of us, we dress the dirt. We go to Nima Marcos. We go to all these shops to look outside nicely. We look beautiful. We are concerned about the dirt. What people are talking about the dirt is what we are concerned about. Today is Sunday. I'm going to church. How do I look? I'm looking at the dirt, not the spirit. Are you with me? Now, in the church is easier. We can worship God. Because we are in the spirit. So the Bible says our spirit connects to the spirit of God. The spirit communicates to God. And the spirit receives information from God. And the spirit tells us what to do. So if your spirit is weak, if you are lying to God, is busy. He will not receive instruction from God. Even God is giving you instructions for you to be able to work because of sin, because of impurity. That land is blocked. So the spirit cannot be act with, act with, with the spirit of God to give you the information you need from God. So as you are caring for your body, you have to care for your spirit that receives instructions. The Holy Ghost team up with the spirit. So when the Bible says you have the Holy Ghost within you, it is the spirit of God that God commands that joint together and they bear witness and hand it to two. Now, the soul has emotions has feelings can be hurt that makes him a human being say amen so if you take care of the body you take care of the spirit the soul is fine if the body is sick the body goes to the doctor get medication 
and he's worried the spirit tells him oh no brother no sister but his stripes he said we are healed he said you are healed he said, we are healed because he has received, he has downloaded information from God reminding the body and the soul that by his stripes you are healed. Do you understand that? That is what you are. Thank, give Jesus a clap for Do you get it? So the Bible says, love yourself, love your neighbor as yourself. Which means, all the three parts of you, you have to take care of. So you can love your neighbor with your dead body. You can love your neighbor with your spirit. That's why you can use your spirit to pray for your sister. Because you love yourself, that you can also pray for your brother. And you take your soul. Say amen. Now, watch this. I'll be done very fast. Now, how do you really love yourself? This is just this, this homework. Stop caring about the, the, the dead body. The dirt. Because whatever you do, people talk about it. If you are too skinny, they talk about it. If you are too fat, they talk about it. If you are too short, they talk about it. If you are too tall, they talk about it. Why are you so concerned about the dead body? Say amen. Say amen. You look beautiful. Oh, belle. To who? Who ki moon? To yourself. Tetu. Because to your sister, Usel. your hair is supposed to be on the left. In a gosh. But you put it on the right. You wear, you're supposed to wear a long, long wig. Today you're wearing a short wig. But to you, you love a short wig today. That's all matters. Don't compare yourself. Because God made you different. The Bible says He makes you wonderful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So why are you comparing yourself to your sister? Why are you comparing yourself to your brother? You are uniquely made. No duplication. God don't make duplicates. Even uh, twins. They are different. You are original. There's no duplication here. You are original. Don't let nobody tell you anything. Say to yourself, I am original. I am the original. There's no duplication here. Say amen. Get friends that love you. Get friends that love you. Say amen. Amen. Meet your needs before you meet other needs. Let me, let me, let me, let me digress a little bit. Bishop, I travel a lot. And at times in the planes, the small planes or big, big planes. So at times when you get to the plane, you know, you are too busy, you don't get to the airport early. But the time you get there, all the the shelf and all these places, you know, where they put the bags are full. By the time we been, uh, we so I complain. decided to buy a small little bag. So just little places here and there. Men are very funny. They travel with only one shirt. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Women, I don't know. God bless you. So I look at a small little bag that cost a thousand dollars. I saw that in London. I saw that in, in, in Germany. And I said, no, I'm not going to spend $1,000 on that bag. I work hard for my money. But it dawned on me if somebody had called me from Africa that he need that $1,000, I would send it to that person. 
without thinking. So what, somebody called me the other day. So I said, my wife said, Doc, I said, yeah. You will not spend thousand dollars for a bag you need. But you want to give to somebody. It's not from God. Because I'm loving that neighbor more than myself. No, no, no. I need it, so I need to buy it. Then, if I have something, I'll give to somebody. You cannot go borrow money for a friend. That you don't even borrow that money for yourself. You won't do it. You know that friend is not going to pay. But you give it because you can't say no. Today you must learn how to say no. Say amen. Are you learning something? You have to say no. What is no? I mean, what is what is? Tony, Tony. We all live in America. We all have credit cards. You don't pay your bills, brother. I know this is fine, man. He pays his bills. So you mess up your credit card. And you are going to Haiti. You call me, brother Champong. Can I use your credit card to buy a ticket to go to Haiti? And you ask him, what happened to your, your credit? I said, oh, my credit is no good. That's a red flag. So, uh, 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 if his credit is no good, <laughs> don't buy him that ticket. <laughs> because he is not going to pay you. <laughs> he didn't care for his credit. <laughs> he messed his credit up. <laughs> Why do you think <laughs> that he will pay you to, co to, to control? No, no, I will do it. The answer is no. <laughs> Love your neighbor that yourself. They said, Don't go your neighbor that you no. let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me finish up. Allow yourself to make mistakes. That's the part, this is the part that, that I love so much. You are careful not to make mistakes. Make mistakes. You learn from mistakes. Make mistakes. Allow yourself. Don't you be too strict. But don't make mistakes that will cost you so much. And you're going to ask me, what, what kind of mistake it cost me so much? Let, let me tell you the mistake that you make. A young man, a young woman, young girl, you, you met a guy that you love so much. Mommy is warning you don't go for him. Papa is warning you don't go. Pastor is telling you don't go. Don't say, Dr. Champa said I should make a mistake. That's a dumb mistake. They are seeing something you don't see. Run away from that boy. That mistake will cost you your life. That's another topic. See, you are, you are quiet because you're like, oh, I should have told no to that man. Now she's divorcing me. You saw the, you saw the signs. And you did not adhere to that sign. Oh, oh I don't want to say no to him because I'll break his heart. Now he's breaking your heart, you are complaining. Because you love your neighbor more than yourself. No, the answer is what? No. No. Point. Final. Final. No. Oh, I am 35 years old. I'm getting old. So I need to get a, a husband. And you run to anybody. Because, you're, because your biological clock is kicking. Because at night when you're sleeping, your legs keep on shaking. You want to calm your nerves. And you go by headache. And say it's no. I love you, sister. I like that. Say no again. No. Let's give him, let's give a clap of praise. No. Don't worry about other opinions. Recognize your feelings. 
Don't be afraid to let go toxic friends. People don't like you, let them go. Let them go. Because they are toxic. You're toxic dans la vie qui t'es allé. They smell bad. You're senti mauvais. And they will make you smell bad. Y'a pas senti mauvais tout. They stink. You're senti. And you're gonna be stinking too. You're senti tout. Let them go. Qui t'es allé. Because you love yourself also. Pas au rêve mais au trois au rêve t'es tout. Qui t'es allé. That's tough. Oh. How can you say that in church? Thank God. You forgive them. Pray for them. When they change, they can come back. And you think they are remorseful, then you can take them back. But don't let them drag you to the dirt. Let them go. You got to love yourself, bro. Take good care of yourself. And, and, and guess what? Dress nice for yourself. Let me, let me, let me fast forward. This. You guys are enjoying more than I do. Say, I love myself. Now, if you don't love yourself, who will be? Now, if your love is from me, I have to give you the love. And the day you need it so much, I might be depressed. Things might be going wrong with me. So when you look at me, I didn't smile. And you think because I didn't smile, I don't love you. You are holding on for me to say, baby, I love you. But my mind is on something. I haven't been paying my bills yesterday. The landlord is calling me. And you want me to say, I love you, honey. It won't even come to my mind. Then your day is messed up. Because I didn't tell you. Tell yourself I love myself. And just be happy and move on. Now, we want people to give us joy. How can I give you joy? I don't know what you need. I don't know. If I give you, it's a bonus. Because if you depend on me to give you a joy, it may never come. It may never come. Or if it comes, it comes in the wrong time. And I love the woman who says, You're never there. You never say you love me. No, no, no. He said, The time I needed, you didn't say it. So he said, You never love me. But when you say, I love you, honey. Then she ask you, what do you do, what do you do wrong? They think you've done something bad. That's why they say you love you. So don't wait for people to say I love you. It may be the wrong timing. Period. Point final. You are responsible for your own joy. You are responsible for your own happiness. And you are responsible for your own love. Nobody should give you those things. Nobody. Because if I have to give it to you, I can use that to manipulate you. I can use that to control you. Because your joy is in my pocket. Your joy is in my bag. If I don't give it to you, you won't be joyful. Oh, no. I love myself. Say amen. amen. What goes around you, you have no control over it. Even your husband, you have no control over him. 
control. Your wife, you have no control over her. Your children, you don't have control over her. But what goes within you, you ought to have control over it. Your joy is within you. Your love is within you. Your happiness is within you. So you have to control it a hundred percent. You got to love yourself. You got to. Your well-being, and I'm done. Your well-being. Your well, how you feel, how you feel, how you control, how to behave, only happen within you. Your well-being, your well-being, how you feel, how you. You have, you have the authority. authority. Don't let nobody give you that. And no, let them nobody take it away from you. You become a robot. Today, if I love you, I turn it. Then you jump. Tomorrow, I turn it. Ha happiness. Then you jump. So if I don't feel like turning, what happens to you? Or I turn joy. Happiness, love, and I'm playing joy, happiness, joy, and you be like a zombie. 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 <laughs> but you ought to control what you can control, what is within yourself, your your joy, your happiness. You should be able to control that. And that is not selfishness, no. Because if you can love yourself, then you can love your neighbor. If you can give to yourself, then you can give it to your neighbor. If you can smile to yourself, then you can give a smile to your neighbor. Are you with me? You can't give what you don't have. If you don't have a dollar, you can't give a dollar. If you don't have a thousand dollars, you can't give it. If you don't have love, you can't give love. If you don't have joy, you can't give joy. If you can't smile, you can't give smile. So what you don't have, you can't give. So be joyful. Be happy. And love yourself. Can we stand, please? A short prayer. I always love to end the preacher with a prayer. Just one minute. You may have trouble to love yourself because of the negativity, the things people have told you. You went through difficulties in life. People have given you words that you don't like. People have told you that you're not beautiful. People have told you that you are ugly. People have told you that you can't do nothing. People have told you that in your family nobody can go to school. People have told you that you cannot even have a job. People have told you that you don't even know how to talk to God. And you have believed a lie. Let's lift our hands up. Let's pray to God. Whatever we have believed wrongly, we give it up to God. Whatever you have believed that is affecting you, you give it up to God. Whatever somebody has told you that you can never do, today you're going to do it. Whatever somebody has told you that you cannot love yourself or nobody will love you, today you love yourself. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And you love yourself. Let's, let's pray. One minute. Let, let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. Give you honor and glory. Father, you have given me your word and I have delivered your word. Let your word assimilate to your people, get to your mind, your soul, your body. Father, wherever we have gone wrong and believe a lie, wherever we have gone wrong and we believe what we were told, by somebody that we respected, somebody that we love. Father God, we let it go. We thank you that Jesus, you love us, and God, you love us. Your word declared that you, for, you, you so much love us that you gave, because you are so much love, so you gave us your only begotten son. 
You have received your son who also gave us love and continue to give us love. So we have love in abundance so we can share, we can give, and we can forgive ourselves for we also forgive our brothers. Father God, I bless you and I thank you for the saints who have heard your word today. I give you honor and praise. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Lord, let's give Jesus a cup of offering. Thank you. Clap your hands.